The love of God is what we are going to discuss today. Everything from the beginning is about the love of God. And that is our topic for today. Hey, I am Christine Kamsime to Diambona and some call me CK, others call me CKT, whichever is easier for you. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I am super excited to have you and on this channel we get to share in detail things we never get to ask in church setting as the sermon is being preached. So let us drive in. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share and if you do that also we give a chance to many others to have this video. I appreciate you saints. The love of God has been either me the love of God has been either underrated or misunderstood, so some people want to do many things to qualify for God's love, either because of how they have been taught in a way to mean that God's love is conditional so they can lose it or gain it, but there is a verse that says that while we were still sinners, Christ died. Think with me here. If he was able to die for you while you were still a sinner, what more can beat that? That you feel God can take away his love from you after you have believed on his son. So, let me say that God loves us too much before, before we do anything or not do anything. So there is nothing you can do to win this love. Praise the Lord. That is why we read things like, For God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. So before you think of how to win God's love, he went ahead of you to provide us with this love through his Son. Hallelujah. As hard as many preachers have made it look complicated to attain, it is simple by simply believing in the Son that he was actually sent by God himself to redeem us and reconcile us back to him. If you read the Bible, you will find that it is a free gift. And now that makes us appreciate from the start that it being free shows us that it is too much love of God, that he desires every man to have it. I know for long, many, many born-again Christians have tried to live their lives in a certain way so that they approve themselves unto God, so that he qualifies them. But my dear brothers and sisters, this approach can only make you feel acceptable once in a while and disqualifies you that you are not even worthy to come to his presence at other times. Is not true because he said in his word that he did not come for the healthy but for the sick he did not come for the righteous but the unrighteous if you understand the love of God which came by Jesus Christ you will then start understanding why he says that we are saved by grace through faith and another verse also says we walk by faith not by works and another one says, without faith, it is impossible to please God. Hallelujah. It's because of this love of God that salvation is an unmerited favor. Because by no means could we qualify, ex except by this very love. And David looked at it in Psalms 32 and said, Blessed is a man whose transgressions are forgiven whose sins are covered and whose sin the Lord does not count against them and in whose spirit is no deceit, praise the Lord. So as you continue to believe in this truth, so many things start being clear as you understand. For example, you will begin to understand that this covenant we entered he promised in Hebrews chapter 8 verse 12 that 
He will forgive you and do not remember. And therefore, making true another verse that says that he who knew no sin became sin so that you become the righteousness of God through Christ. It is this great love that when you understand it, you walk this salvation life effortlessly with peace and joy because you are sure that God loves you no matter what. It is because of this great love that Jesus said, no one can pluck them out of my hand. Can you imagine? We have that assurance that no one can pluck us from the hand of Jesus Christ himself. So do you now see how it is too late for even the devil to take any born again Christian away? My dear listeners, it is this love that gives us confidence not to give up, never to leave the presence of God because we are fully persuaded that his love can never fail to redeem us. Hallelujah. In this vlog, we can pick that it is by grace through faith that we can only enter the love of God. So if you want to know how to do this, click right now the link showing on your screen. They will take you through on how to become born again Christian because often than not, many have made it complex. And the second one will teach you how to build your own faith. Glory to God and see you soon.